You on the clock tower, Chris? Just conducting a weather experiment. Oh, that's one point twenty one gigawatts. <laughs> Oh, gosh. I don't think you're going 88 miles per hour there, buddy. <laughs> oh, back to the future. I'm going a little faster than your painting is. Hey! I've got more done this morning than you did, Mr. Two, two pieces boards. of wood. <laughs> two, of two boards. Wow, this is looking really good, Chris. It does look like the clock tower, kind of, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. But it won't when it's done. It'll look like a western clock tower. So, this thing's 13 feet tall. Uh, the sign's gonna go like right here. It's gonna have a little porch or an overhang yeah. down below. And like the jail, it'll have two windows on each side of the door in the center. Two windows and a sign yeah. and a door. It'll have windows and doors. <laughs> and you'll be able to find a way out because there's no way in. <laughs> You can't even go in. <laughs> Hi. Fun times. Bracing is up. And there she be. There she be. There she be. <laughs> so now what we have to do is put a little bolt in here. Right there. Are you sure? Right there? Right there. And that'll be done. And then what do we get to do next, Chris? Skin it. Skin it. Put some skin on them bones. It's morning. It's breezy. And we went ahead and skinned some of the plywood on. So hopefully we'll get this other stuff done fairly quickly. And then we can start working on the little porch roof that we're going to do. We went ahead and skinned the other section that we needed to, and we went ahead and put a 2x6 up on the top, and that is going to hold the angle for the porch. We're going to put some galvanized metal up there. Anyway, make a little porch. Christopher is chopping off the top of our post for the end of our porch right now, and to do that, we took the board off of the deck and we screwed it in there for now. I think we're gonna bolt it. Yeah. So it's real sturdy or whatever, but see, we just took the board off the deck. We just unscrewed it and put it up there. This day is going by super fast and I don't feel like we've gotten too much done, but it's because there's been a lot of cutting and measuring and cutting again and measuring again. <laughs> but this is what we've gotten done. We're putting those little angle pieces up on the top for the roof. There's going to be plywood on top of that and then some metal. We got our little patio cover done. Well, just, this, just the bones of it. We still have a little bit more to do. Got to put some bolts in. And... But the frame is there for sure. That's right. <laughs> How you feeling, Chris? How am I feeling? How you feeling? Feeling pretty good. Good. All right, we're quitting for the day. Christopher is tightening up the last couple little lag bolts. And we're getting the heck out of here because it's starting to sprinkle on us. This thing is solid. <laughs> it's strong. Solid as a rock. Solid as a rock. Good morning, everyone. It is a beautiful day today. The sun is shining, there's no clouds in the sky, and here is our general store. So we got the roof on last time, and we got the bolts in there, up there, and then we put some bolts down there too. And today what the plan is going to be is to skin the roof, I think, and then start facading the this part where the plywood is on the back right here uh we're gonna do a door we're gonna do some windows so we gotta cut out a couple things drill some holes in the four corners We're 
go around the other side, connect those dots. Let's just take a straight edge and kind of give myself some lines. Like so. here. So what I'll do is I'll take my router with a flush trim bit and go around it. Some more old wood. This is going to be for our window seal, and then we'll have to notch it out so it'll fit tidy on the little on the little sill there. Make a little look for the window box. So Christopher's just notching out those two yeah. little end pieces right there so we can come back and fit it right on the bottom right there. All right, so there's the board. Fit in there all nice and snugly. Screw this baby in. To get this beautiful piece of wood in there, then you want to go ahead and trim out your inside pieces. That's what we're doing right now. Yep. And we're going to go over and stick this. Just like so. And then... Yeah, it creates a nice old look. Um, after that, we're going to put a piece of uh, plywood in the back. Black it out, baby. I black it out, baby. The store is sold out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're working on the door right now, and I wanted the bottom part to be louvered, and I thought I'd show you guys how we do it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to add a little strip thinner than your bottom piece, wherever you're starting from. So this is your thinner piece right here, and you take your larger piece, and you stick it right on top there, and it goes in really good. You screw it in, nail it in, glue it in, stick gum in there, whatever. Glue and is. shoot. <laughs> and then what you do is you take a little wedge or something like that. Depending on the height you want to, like if you want them really small, you could put it that way. But we're going for this size right now. So the next thing you do is you take it and you stick it on there. And see, it kind of kicks it a little bit. So it kind of gives it an upside down stair stepping effect. And then, just like that. All right, it's the end of the day. And this is the progress we got done today. We finished both windows, got a door up, and we got some siding put up too. So, that's the way we're going to do it. We're just using fence boards. 
right there. And our window. So we should probably be able to bang the rest of the siding out tomorrow. And probably start on the roof.